episode of Techzilla is sponsored by the National Campaign Against Drunk Driving. David has a question about screen recordings, or recording a screen more accurately. He writes in, I've been tasked with creating an internal IT website for my group, but would love to make slick how-to videos, much like I see on your show. I didn't realize we were slick. I wonder what software you use to follow the mouse, zoom, etc. The majority would be on the Mac, but options for occasional PC captures might be nice too. Any pointers will be greatly appreciated. David. So, one of the things we should point out is a lot of the really cool stuff you see on your screen when you're watching Techzilla is because we, we fixed it in post. We edited Edited it using Final Cut or some other editing software. There's a lot you can do to make things dramatically more clear. The first thing you do need to do is actually make that original capture of, of what's going on, on your screen. If you want to make your life easier, go out and buy ScreenFlow right now. Price tag sounds pretty steep, maybe not for a corporation, but for an individual. It's about 100 bucks, but the program is rock solid and has a built-in editor to do everything you're looking for. Check back to Techzilla 268. Mark Watson, Soldier Knows Best, gave a great walkthrough of the program. If you don't have much or any budget, there are some solutions that might work just as well for you. If you're a little more patient and willing to you know, put a little more time in, QuickTime 10 or QuickTime X has a built-in screen recording uh, system and generally does a decent job. Uh, the latest version of QuickTime actually does a great job recording. If you just want to record videos on a net cam or a video camera. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's actually, there's a whole bunch of features buried in there. You, we should do a segment on the secrets of QuickTime. <laughs> yes. Um, we're thinking the easiest and best way for you, since you might be doing Windows screen caps too, is to go with an online screen recording tool. The best that we've tested so far is the Screencast-O-Matic. So, you go to the website, screencast-o-matic.com, and you'll see a start recording button. This loads up a Java applet, security warning, that gives you quite a few recording options, like your recording box size, which microphone to use, whether you want to use a webcam or not. There's a 15 minute record limit, but once you're done, there's an option to publish to YouTube, Screencast-O-Matic, or save uh, as an MP4 file on your computer. You also get these options, uh, whether you want to highlight the mouse or show clicks. The only downside is that you get a big Screencast-O-Matic <laughs> watermark Mark, but you can get rid of that by signing up for the professional account, which costs a mere 15 bucks. So, there are some other uh, free screencast programs or screen capture programs worth mentioning. Screener, uh, web based, it's a very similar to Screencast O Matic. It doesn't give you as many options, uh, but the website and hosting is much cleaner. For Windows, VLC, aka the Video Land oh, Client, yeah. can actually be used to capture your desktop. This is actually, I did not know. This is actually pretty cool, right? Uh, choose Stream, uh, under and under Capture Devices, you'll see an option for desktop. Look at that, kids. And for Linux, you can get down and dirty using the command line with FFmpeg and the X11 grab switch. And if we'll have, for that one, we'll have more detailed <laughs> uh, tutorial links in the show notes. Is there anything VLC can't do? Uh, yes. I love that tool. It cannot. Babysit your children. Actually, oh, I guess it could if you have enough Phineas and Ferb <laughs> on your server. Oh, no. Is that babysitting or is that merely numbing their tiny little minds? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you tired parents. I'm not touching that one. Let's take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. August 15th through Labor Day weekend, police are going to be out in force nationwide to crack down on impaired driving. Do me a favor. Don't put yourself, don't put my family in danger. Don't put anybody in danger. Don't risk losing your driver's license or worse. Drive sober or get pulled over. Listen, drunk driving is profoundly stupid. Over the Labor Day weekend in 2010, 54% of drivers between the ages of 18 and 34 killed in motor vehicle traffic accidents were alcohol impaired. Over that same weekend, 147 people lost their lives in accidents involving a drunk driver. This is completely avoidable. This is stupid. Get a designated driver. Don't drive drunk. It's not hard, people. And look, if you're, if you're not smart enough to want to save my life or your life, record numbers of state and local law enforcement and highway safety officials across the nation will be taking part, and they will be looking for drunk drivers day and night, making the road safer for the rest of us. Do yourself a favor. Don't be an idiot. Drive sober or get pulled over.